Hi everyone, this is Jian. Today we're going to use edible flowers to make rice paper sales. If you prepare dry flowers ahead of time, these can be a great decorating objects. Also, you can purchase some of them from Amazon. I dried these pansies last year, so I have some of good flowers. And these I actually ordered from Amazon. And these are from the pots I'm growing. I have some rosemary, marigold, and wood sorrel. First, add some water on your rice paper on the front and back side. I used warm water and it's easier to make it soft. Once the texture is invisible and it's kind of sticky, set aside and prepare another parchment paper and place some flowers. I wanted to make it more interesting so I placed some of the flowers upside down. After adding the flowers, I covered the parchment paper and press it down, make sure all the flowers are attached to the rice paper and gently peel off the parchment paper. You'll see all the flowers are attached to rice paper. Now I'm also going to add some flowers on top of the rice paper so you can have different effects. After adding the flowers, I wanted to add more details, so I decided to use this golden dust. When you're scooping out the golden dust, make sure you're using a dry tool. Instead of painting directly, I gently shook off the dust by tapping the brush. Now set aside and let's make the second piece. For the second piece, instead of the golden dust, I'm going to use rosemary to finish up. Feel free to decorate around the flowers with rosemary leaves. Once you're done, bring an oven safe cup or a ball to mold your rice paper. This time I'm not using any clips, I'm just letting it to drape naturally. Dry it in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes at 165 Fahrenheit and air dry the rest. The next one is using edible rose petals. I don't recommend you to dry your own petals if you don't know where the rose is coming from. If it's from your garden, it will be safe but if you don't know where the rose is from, I recommend you to purchase the dried rose petals. So place the big petals on the extra parchment paper and once you're done, cover it with the rice paper. And now peel it off gently. And once you peel the parchment paper, add some rose petals. I crushed them and I sprinkled it on the top. To secure the crushed petals, also I used parchment paper to press them down and make sure it's all attached. I also used the oven safe glass to make the shape and I'm going to dry them in the oven. So I kept in 165 Fahrenheit for 30 minutes and I took them out and air dried the rest. 
And finally, this is my last one. I'm using some marigold leaves and I'm going to use this wood sorrel. It looks like a little heart, so it's really pretty. Also, the flower part is edible, so you can use all the parts from wood sorrels. And I'm going to add some rosemary leaves to decorate around the marigold leaves. And I took some petals out from the marigold. If you don't have any plants or flowers at home, you can also purchase some herbs from the supermarket and you can dry them and use it or you can use the fresh herbs. So I cover the rice paper and I'm going to gently peel it off and also add some greens and florals on top of the rice paper. I really like this wood sorrel. If you can see this leaves close by, it's like a little heart and it's really cute. So the last piece is different than other two rice paper cells. I'm going to add some small rice paper pieces on top of the um, leaves and flowers where I add more on the top because while I'm drying the rice paper cell, I don't want them to turn brown because if I leave it in the oven it gets direct heat from the oven so some parts might turn brown so i wanted to prevent that For this one, I used a taller and narrow glass to make the shape because I wanted to have a narrow shape in the bottom. So depending on the shape, you can choose your own glass or a ball to mold it. Using a fresh herbs or flowers can be a little bit risky because while they're drying in the room temperature, they might get moldy so if you want to prevent that make sure to dry it completely in the oven so I like to put the temperature very low I'll say 150 to 160 Fahrenheit and just keep it in the oven until it's fully dry Here I have all the dried edible flower cells. I realized not just for the cake decoration, this can also be used for holding cookies for your events. I think this can be a great display for flower cookies or any sort of desserts. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more tutorials, please subscribe my channel. I'll come up with more tutorials. And I'm going to update how the fresh herbs and the fresh petals turns after one week. So if you are curious, check out my community postings. Thank you so much. I'll meet you in the next video.